Okay, so listen. I, I'm i just going to say what I want to say right now because I can't take a lot of y'all seriously at this point. I know there's a lot going on right now and if I get into the specifics of it, you'll never see this video. So just try to follow the bouncing ball, okay? I can't take a lot of y'all seriously with this whole issue that's happening in Africa and also overseas right now in that place I cannot say. Because be so for real. Like especially a lot of y'all Americans. Y'all are so unserious about your shock and outrage or your heartbreak about these poor people that are being treated this way. Y'all regularly still go to Lake Lanier to go play around in the water and have fun. Y'all don't care about people being taken out in mass. You don't care. Y'all are still in your feelings about statues and monuments and names of buildings being changed or things being taken down that were named after people that literally committed the same atrocities that they are experiencing over there right now. But it happened to people that look like me. And it happened here, where your granddaddy and your grandmama lived. So you don't care about that stuff, but you do care. Like, come on. This country has committed war crimes, crimes against humanity, and literally y'all are ignoring them so that you can focus and shed your tears for other people while watching the same atrocities happen to people right here. Like, Agent Orange didn't happen to the Asian community. Like, you didn't have internment camps for Asian people right here. Like, you didn't have plantations right here. Like, y'all did, y'all stole the whole West Coast and below from Mexicans. But y'all are... <laughs> y'all are gonna celebrate Thanksgiving this month and cry for people in Congo and over there. Like... I, I, y'all are so unserious. We spent the early 2020s digging up bodies of little dead native children because of y'all. And y'all are out here like, I, I can't, religion? Y'all are fighting this on the side of them because of religion? Like, be so for real. Y'all watched these people bomb black communities. Not like just go in and rough them up. Bomb them. The United States government, the military, bombed black communities, buildings with black people in them, and y'all are shedding t I can't take y'all seriously. But it's not just y'all. I think it's an American thing, period, because black people that live here are no better when it comes to these issues right now, because y'all are using the same tactics that have failed miserably for us to try to help people in Congo or over there. Why? Uncomfortable truth time, okay? We ain't got no rights in America. We ain't got no freedom in America. If you're not a white male who is straight, you have nothing but permission. You have privileges. You're being allowed to do what they do. Obviously, because they get taken away from us all the freaking time. If you had rights, they wouldn't be able to be taken from you. We're still trying to get an anti-lynching bill passed. <laughs> like, what? We are living in a modified plantation. That's all. Y'all think just because they pay us to go to work every day for them that we free? Mind you, you still can't afford to live. So those rights to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness seem to be being denied still. Weird. Considering the fact that you think that you free? <laughs> like, come on. 